welcome to Robot Art School. I am your robot teacher, but you can call me RT. My creators have programmed me to teach you art. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to use the principle of patterns. So grab your art supplies and let's get started. Remember, the elements and principles of art are the building blocks of art. The better you get at using them, the better your art will be. Pattern is a decorative effect achieved when you repeat one of the following elements of art. Lines, shapes, colors, or textures. It can also be achieved by repeating a combination of those elements. A piece of art can have several different patterns within it. These individual patterns are referred to as motifs. There are actually a lot of different types of patterns, many of which occur all around us. A geometric pattern is made of repeated basic geometric shapes, such as this tablecloth pattern. An organic pattern is made of repeated complex organic shapes, such as this plate pattern. A symmetrical pattern is made when there is a mirror image of the original shape or shapes, such as this motif. A radial pattern occurs when the original shape is rotated around a single point on a circular path, such as this flower. A spiral pattern is made when a shape is repeated outwards from a point on a curved path such as this snail shell. A wave pattern is made by moving water or when water or air passes over sand or dirt, creating ripples. Some other places we often see patterns are architecture, fabric, animals, insects, and electronics. A good example of using pattern is the work of Alphonse Mucha. Mucha designed many pieces of art that were used for product packaging and advertisements. As you can see in this 1897 example, entitled Reverie, he has integrated many different motifs. The most obvious are the floral patterns, which he uses in several different ways. First, the large circle in the background is the base for a radial pattern. In her hair, the flowers make a very loose organic pattern. And finally, the flowers in the corners make a spiral pattern. Taking a closer look at her dress, there are some very intricate geometric patterns. So, as you can see, all you need to create great art with pattern is the ability to repeat one or more of the elements of line, shape, color, or texture. Luckily for us, there are many sources of patterns all around us that we can use as inspiration. Here are a few activities you can do to help you get better at using pattern. First, in your sketchbook, draw 12 rectangles in a 3x4 grid. These are referred to as thumbnails. Go around your house, school, or even outside and find 12 different patterns. Each time you find one, draw it in one of the thumbnails. Next, find an interesting image from a magazine or print one from your computer. Cut the main subject out and paste it on a piece of paper. Using wavy or zigzag lines, create several sections coming out from the subject. 
Now, fill these sections in with interesting patterns. This is referred to as a Zentangle. Feel free to shade it in or color it. Finally, draw a basic outline of a human figure with an interesting outfit on. Don't worry about adding detail to the face. We are just going to focus on the clothing. Using tracing paper, trace out the drawing as many times as you'd like to create multiple designs using patterns. If you don't have tracing paper, you can shade the back of your drawing and then hold it on another sheet of paper. Make sure the pages don't move, so when you trace over the original drawing, the image will transfer to the second sheet. Alright, that brings us to the end of this lesson. I hope you had fun and learned a lot. If you have any suggestions for art lessons you would like me to teach you, like this video and put your suggestion in the comments below. I will inform my creators and they will program me with a new lesson. To make sure you don't miss out on any new lessons, please subscribe and turn on notifications. And remember, with practice and hard work, anybody can be a great artist. See you in the next lesson. Bye!